Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now today, I want to introduce you to the Nissan Atlas. Now the Nissan Atlas is actually a really popular series of pickup trucks that you can find over in Japan. Most notably known for their utilitarian purposes and their extremely reliable diesel engines. But this one is not just any old pickup truck, but this is a full-blown cab over style camper van. And today what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you guys all the cool features that are included in this camper van and it'll kind of give you a glimpse of what it would have been like to be camping in such a van back in the 90s in Japan. Before we get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out over to Alex over at Ellis Motors JDM for giving me this opportunity to be able to review this van for you guys today. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more if you're looking for more car content just like this. But I think with that being said, I'm just really excited just to kind of get behind the wheel of this thing and show you all the cool stuff that is hidden in this particular camper van. So let's do it. So here's a quick walk around of the car. The first thing that you're gonna notice is it has these huge mirrors that really come in handy when you're making lane changes or just driving on the highway in general. And I'm zoomed out all the way for this one because this van feels like it's larger than life. But don't be intimidated by this because really the, the driving experience is not as bad as you would think. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it has tons of visibility and it's become to the side profile. It does have a pretty boxy shape, but it has tons of windows. And what I really enjoy too about these windows up here in the front is it has like this extra window just to kind of give you some extra visibility which you really don't get to see on anything else but something like an Atlas. These windows slide in the back, so if you want to get some ventilation. There's also some ventilation on the roof. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but there's a little pop-open portion of the roof and a fan as well to give you like some fresh air to either come in or circulate out. So if you're cooking, you're not gonna have the whole place smelling like food. It has this little rear window in the back I will say that it, there is a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to backing up in this car. On this side of the van, you're gonna notice that there's a bunch of different compartments and I just wanted to go over that real quick. So when we pop this open, you're gonna see that this is actually where you put the fuel for the vehicle, as well as it has a little bit of fuel lines here and a fuel filter, just to kind of show you the operations of what's happening behind the scenes. And over here is the water fill tank. So this is gonna be where you put your non-pressure water, as well as the compartment that's gonna really open up the water lines for everything that's operating on the inside that requires water. To use any of the gas-related appliances inside the van, what you'll need to do is you'll need to open up the propane. So to do that, we're just going to open up this compartment here and then we're going to relieve the valve to open it so that propane starts flowing to all the gas appliances on the inside. So when we first walk in, you're going to be introduced to the living area. And what's so cool about this is this can be completely converted and I'll make sure to show you guys how to do that but in this current configuration that we have it in, you have a place for four people to sit comfortably with some cup holders and this table. And on top of that too, this table actually rotates. So for whatever reason, if you need to rotate this to maybe get through and have a clear passageway, you can definitely do that. And this table is easily removable as well. All it takes is just popping this up and removing the pole and bingo. The rest of the table is completely gone. As we look up here, this is gonna be your sleeping area. And it's surprisingly large. Like if you go up there and you really crawl and lay out, I'm about like 5'10 and I can sleep up there very comfortably. And you can even have multiple people up there too. And I'll show you once you do the full conversion here, this will turn into a complete sleeping area. So all these gaps here that are actually a walkway right now will turn into a full bed so that this will just be kind of like a giant mattress for anybody that wants to use this. And these uh, back portions of the backrest are actually completely removable if you wanted to do that as well. So there's really a lot of possibilities here in terms of how you want to use this space. And of course there's privacy curtains and these windows slide out and it's very easy to do that as well. Uh, we do have a little bit of a TV set up here if you want to kind of pop this out and watch some TV with your friends or family. But I think the biggest thing that we need to talk about is just how to use the electric appliances. So in this van, there is two voltmeters. And what we need to do is we need to turn both of these on. So we're going to turn on this switch. And then we're going to press this and this. 
And I'm not sure if you're hearing this little humming right now, but underneath this particular bench is actually going to be the heater. So if I put my hand here, I can feel the heat starting to come in. And it's, it's, it's small, but this thing is very mighty. Trust me. It gets very toasty in here super quickly, especially when you have the engine running. But I think I'm going to turn this off for now since I do not have the car running and I do not want to deplete all of the electricity that's going through here. Once we move this cushion out of the way, you're going to have access to all the AC outlets. You also have easy access to the front and a privacy curtain too if you wanted to, you know, not have to see what's going on behind the scenes with whoever's driving. As we make our way over to the kitchen, you're going to have heated water. You're going to also have this stove that is a pop top stove that is actually just like a gas operated stove that works tremendously well. Another really neat feature that comes with this Atlas is this sky vent. And the innovation behind it is really nice because it gives you the opportunity to either bring in fresh air or blow out air to circulate. So there's a switch over here that gives you the in and out function. So say in an instance you were cooking, right? So you have some hot food that's cooking and it's getting the interior a little bit smoky. All you'd have to do is just press this button and it turns on the fan and it would blow out all that air so that the inside wouldn't be suffocating you. And up here, you're gonna see that there is a tank level for the water and then all these switches and they're all in Japanese. But for anybody that's actually concerned about the switches and not knowing how to read Japanese, Google Translate actually has an app that's so cool that you can use by just basically uh, using your camera and taking a photo of each of these buttons and it gives you a clear indication of which each one does. But for the sake of the video, all I'm going to do is just keep all of these on so that you're able to see all the operations of everything that is in here in terms of appliances. Now you have tons of space for compartments and things of that sort, but what's most notable is there's a full on fridge. Nissan really did a great job at utilizing all these little spaces for compartments. I mean, there is so much room in here to put tons of stuff. All right, so as we hop into the interior of the Atlas, the first thing that you're going to notice right off the bat is the previous owner made some aftermarket changes that really enhance the interior aesthetics. Because at the end of the day, all this really is is just a pickup truck. So in the inside, everything is super functional, but my hands down, my favorite thing that is in this van altogether is got to be this Nardi three-spoke steering wheel. When you hold it at the nine and three grip, it has these very cushy little pieces of leather and it's surrounded by this wood grain on the outside and it just feels so good in the hand. It almost feels like something that you'd find in like a skyline, but here we are having it in a camper van and it really just spruces up the whole driving experience. And on top of that too, it has a lightweight shift knob. Now, of course, this isn't gonna be the most sporty gearbox in the world, but it's very easy to operate. The rows are a little bit longer than you would think, but it's very easy to get used to and it's very easy to operate. Uh, the, the clutch catch point is, you know, it's like in the middle of the road and just once you get used to it, it's, it's very easy to understand, especially if you're stuck up on a hill or anything like that. And this one also has an aftermarket mirror uh, it's a Broadway mirror that just attaches to the OEM rear view mirror. And all it really does is it gives you a little bit more real estate in terms of visibility because it, it pans out like this and it kind of creates like a wide angle when you're looking at it. So uh, not completely necessary, but it's just a nice touch. And it definitely adds to everything that's in here because at the end of the day, uh, everything is very functional in here. You got AC, you got your heater. Uh, you got a flare just in case if you're ever in an emergency and needed to pull off to the side of the road, which is always nice to have. But at the end of the day, it's a pickup truck. But I think with that being said, let's go over the driving experience. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. Now, if you're wondering what the engine is, it's a 2.7 liter diesel. And if you know anything about these 2.7 liter diesels from Nissan, this is actually a really legendary drivetrain, just known for its reliability. Really stout little engine. Still getting used to the gearbox myself, so don't mind my driving skills right now. This 
smooth little engine. <laughs> Drives really nice. gonna be the fastest thing in the world but it really gets up there oh yeah it feels so stable because it's so large oh yeah nice get in the top gear beautiful look at that Very smooth on the highway. Sweet. Take it easy here a little bit. Going from a Subaru to this thing, it feels very different. Not in a bad way though, just takes some getting used to. Yeah, this thing will cruise all day. So for anybody concerned thinking that the 2.7 liter diesel isn't enough power, it's, it's more than adequate, trust me. Feels quite good. like that and if you are you better be slowing down a little bit but in everyday traffic gearbox is easy to understand oh yeah it's actually pretty fun <laughs> it's got a lot of low-end grunt that helps a lot these diesel engines, they always get the low end torque. Nice day for a cruise. Unfortunately, we won't be any at any camping grounds today, but I think that's where this car or this van would really do some justice. We'll just keep cruising here. You have to get used to riding high because the axles are basically right above you. It is a camper van at the end of the day. The steering is responsive. Brakes feel really solid. This is a really good test for it. I'm going downhill. Yeah, they feel really good. It's much less intimidating than I thought it was going to be, especially when being surrounded by traffic. That was one of my concerns with just driving something as large as this. 
but I feel pretty good. You get a lot of looks from people too, just wondering what this thing is. <laughs> I'm impressed at how it accelerates. Seriously. Once you get once you get going, <laughs> it's kind of zippy. You definitely just have to keep it up in the revs. Like, don't feel bad if it sounds like you're revving out the engine. That's where it's like happiest. nice to take this out on like some packed sand or like some dirt. I would just be really curious to see how it drives. the old left lane change just to show you guys that there's tons of visibility I can see everything on my left side without having to turn my head yeah once you get used to the size it soaks up the bumps really well look at as another van comes by <laughs> they know what's up oh yeah this is very pleasant All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.